We are learning more tonight about a female MTA worker attacked at the Wall Street subway station just as the morning rush was set to begin. It is just the latest mass transit crime making headlines this week. And our chief investigative reporter, Jonathan Deist, worked with police sources to get exclusive video of the incident. The Wall Street 4-5 subway station. Watch as this MTA station worker, armed with just a flashlight, is trying to get a man sleeping under a bench to move along. What happened next, caught on video, and this video now in the hands of NYPD detectives. Watch as the man, visibly angry, moves at the female station agent, and suddenly police say he attacks, punching, kicking, and shoving the 58-year-old woman into the side of the train car. The NYPD also has this camera angle, with police saying this video shows suspect Abdallahi Muhammad attacking the MTA worker. Unprovoked, she did nothing to deserve this. We asked the MTA for comment about this incident, and a leading executive agreed to meet us at the Wall Street station to voice support for the worker. Our expectation is a person comes to a job in one way and should go home the exact way that they came in. So it's, it's completely unacceptable that this would happen to a person just trying to do their job. New Yorkers riding the train at the start of the morning rush seemed to feel the same way. Watch as numerous riders jumped in to help the woman taking the 25-year-old suspect down to the ground. After they save her, watch as a crowd of New Yorkers stand watch over the suspect, making him sit on the platform until police arrive. The MTA worker clearly injured one of her eyes swollen shut. She's there to support the customers, and the customers were there to support her. This incident comes after other recent shocking attacks, like this musician attacked while performing. Mass shooting on a subway platform in the Bronx. Major crimes on the subways up so far this year compared to last year. The addition of cameras at stations helping to build cases, and in this case, the DA's office charging Muhammad with felony assault for causing injury to the transit worker. Muhammad is being held on $20,000 bail. MTA officials tell us they want to see real jail time as a message of deterrence. Jonathan Deanst, News 4 New York.